morning from the National Museum of American History, just one of the many museums along with the National Zoo that is opening today. Howard, I understand you have something pretty awesome to show us. Yeah, this is brand new. This is the first time being shown. So when you come here, if you've been here before, come, you'll be able to see this from Bob Ross. You know, the PBS painter guy who seems to be more famous now than when he was actually on TV painting. But this is a, a painting called On a Clear Day. The easel, the brushes, this is all original. First time shown Bob Ross stuff here at the National Museum of American History on this beautiful Friday. Now, we do have some heat coming this weekend, but today is going to be nice. Yesterday got to the low 90s. Today will be in the mid 80s. Humidity levels still a check and plenty of sunshine. You can see temperatures this morning, which have dropped into the 50s, even a few spots in the upper 40s. It is gorgeous out. And while we're still sitting at 60 in D.C., it feels really good. Lunchtime temperatures either side of 80, so a comfortable day. Just don't forget the sunscreen. And then this afternoon, we're in the mid-80s. Tonight, won't be as cool. We'll be in the 50s and 60s, and that's going to set the stage for a hot Saturday. Back above 90, still not too humid on Saturday. Just a stray storm if you're lucky. And boy, do we need some rain. It's getting dry out there. More than about almost two and a half inches below average since March 1st now. Saturday night, a few clouds. and. Then on Sunday, more heat, more humidity as well on Sunday, and also the threat for a stray storm with highs in the lower 90s. It looks like temperatures, though, over the next 10 days. You see, they're going to drop off Monday. Monday, we may actually stay in the 70s, but then by Wednesday, we're back in the 90s, and that, I think, has a better chance for a few showers and storms, but more above average 80s, though. You can see that coming Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do want to remind you that if you do come out to the National Museum of American History or some of the indoor museums with Smithsonian, the zoo, of course, you don't need. You will need masks. You won't need the outside out the zoo. You will need masks. You will also need tickets because they are timed entry. So plan ahead. Check them out. Very excited. The Smithsonian opening some of their museums today. Guys, back to you.